After a hiatus of 34 years, Honda's original middleweight adventure bike is making a comeback in the U.S. Unveiled at East Cime in 2022, the all-new Honda Transalp boasts a 755 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine with a 270-degree crank. The initial Transalp, featuring a 583 cubic centimeters V-twin, was imported to the U.S. for only two years, 1989 to 1990 but gained considerable success through various iterations in Europe from 1986 to 2008. The 1989 model was praised by Cycle World as a superb do-it-all motorcycle suitable for riders who appreciate diversity in their riding experiences, describing it as comfortable, versatile, utilitarian, and stylish. The question arises, why did the Honda Transalp struggle in the US, and was it perhaps ahead of its time? Today, Adventure bikes rank among the most popular motorcycles in America. The middleweight ADV segment, 700 cubic centimeters to 1,000 cubic centimeters, has seen a fourfold increase since 2018. These bikes are sought after for their versatility, performance, and all-road capabilities. Recognizing a gap in its ADV lineup between the CB500X and Africa Twin, Honda is reintroducing the Transalp as a brand new model for the U.S. in 2024. This time, the U.S. market is fully embracing adventure bikes, making the timing ideal for the Transalp success. Positioned as a 50-50 adventure bike, the Transalp focuses on being equally adept on and off pavement, rather than trying to compete with more extreme ADVs like the KTM 890 Adventure R. Priced at $9,999, the 2024 Honda Transalp aims to be an all-arounder, excelling in touring performance while equipped with essential off-road features such as spoked wheels, 21-inch front, 18-inch rear, long travel suspension, and switchable traction control. On paper, the Transalp aims to be a versatile motorcycle capable of handling gravel roads, twisty back roads, and daily commuting. The heart of the 2024 Honda Transalp is its parallel twin engine, a 755 cubic centimeters Unicam motor featuring four valves per cylinder, a 270 degree crank, 87.0 by 63.5 millimeters bore and stroke dimensions, and 11.0 to 1 compression ratio, and Honda's patented Vortex flow intake ducts. The slipper slash assist clutch enhances the riding experience providing a good feel with minimal effort and reducing finger fatigue when modulating the lever off-road. Honda asserts that the U.S. model generates 83 horsepower at 8,500 RPM, positioning it competitively in its class against Suzuki's V-Strom 800DE. Measured at 72.2 rear-wheel horsepower by CW, Yamaha's Tenera 700 measured at 61.7 RWHB by CW and Aprilia's Touareg 660, measured at 69.9 RWHB by CW. The Transalp is engineered with a short stroke to enhance top-end performance, while still maintaining robust mid-range power. The parallel twin engine exhibits heightened performance beyond 4,000 RPM, and as it surpasses 6,000 RPM, power delivery intensifies, reaching a surge of energy up to its 10,000 RPM redline. On off-road trails, the Transalp soft bottom end permits the rear tire to sustain traction in slippery conditions. Opening the throttle further propels the bike assertively out of corners, maintaining predictable traction. Its linear power delivery empowers riders to initiate and confidently navigate slides through gravel corners before pushing the engine to its limit and shifting to the next gear. The Transalp's exceptional grip in off-road conditions is further enhanced by aftermarket Bridgestone Batlax Adventure Trail at 41 tires, stocked with Metzeler Carew Street tires. On paved surfaces, the engine's performance remains commendable. The smooth and predictable roll-on power is consistent mid-corner, while the robust mid-range and top-end deliver quick pulls as the tachometer climbs through the rev range. Cruising at highway speeds, the parallel twin maintains smooth operation beyond 70 miles per hour without any noticeable buzzing or vibration. Regarding the 2024 Honda Transalp's chassis and suspension, Honda aimed to instill a sense of lightness and agility while preserving robust chassis rigidity. The bike features a steel diamond frame with 2.6mm downtubes and plated engine hangers designed to enhance stability and feel while minimizing weight. 
The ProLink rear suspension incorporates a low-mounted and sturdy preload adjustable Showa shock with 7.5 inches of travel. The 43mm preload adjustable Showa SFFCA inverted fork provides 7.9 inches of travel, with compression damping housed in the left stanchion and the rebound circuit in the right. Off-road, the suspension demonstrates a soft and supple initial stroke, adeptly absorbing bumps and gravel while ensuring both wheels remain in contact with the ground. On twisty pavement, the components prove equally effective. During corner entry, the front end compresses adequately, applying extra pressure to the front tire without compromising ride height or diving excessively under braking. Under hard acceleration, the bike exhibits a slight squat, enhancing traction for the rear tire. The grip provided by the chunky ADV tires eliminates the necessity for traction control on all dirt surfaces. Navigating challenging rock sections is feasible, yet in intricate terrain, the Transalp may not provide optimal comfort. While this Honda can tackle a wide range of obstacles like any other adventure bike, the suspension damping proves to be rigid and jolting when navigating demanding terrain at higher speeds. Notably, the Transalp lacks damping adjustments, setting it apart from its competitors. The front wheel is brought to a halt by a pair of 310mm disc brakes with dual piston calipers, while the rear is managed by a 256mm disc and a single piston caliper. Both brake systems deliver a robust initial by with gradual stopping power. The front lever provides direct feedback, and the ABS system operates without being overly intrusive. Through the 5-inch color TFT display, riders can activate off-road ABS, which considers limited traction conditions to prevent the system from engaging too easily. The rear ABS can be entirely deactivated, allowing the rear wheel to lock up completely, though the front wheel ABS remains non-adjustable. In most off-road scenarios, the ABS intervention at the front wheel is inconspicuous, only noticeable when applying the front brake while descending slippery rock ledges, resulting in a slight kick to the lever. Positioned between the Yamaha Tenera 700 62.8-inch wheelbase and the Aprilia Touareg 660 60.0-inch wheelbase, the Honda Transalp 61.5-inch wheelbase is within the typical range for its class. For comparison, the Suzuki Vstrom 800DE has a 61.8-inch wheelbase. These dimensions are only slightly longer than a CRF 450 or Dual Sport 58.3-inch wheelbase, giving the Transalp nimble off-road steering while maintaining stability at high speeds on the road. The Transalp's 27-degree rake and 4.4-inch trail closely mirror those of its 450 motocross counterpart, resulting in familiar off-road handling characteristics. Claimed to weigh 459 pounds, the Honda Transalp aligns with its key competitors. For context, according to Cycle World Scales, the 2022 Aprilia Touareg 660 weighed watching. 459 Drop pounds, like. the 2023 Yamaha Tenera weighed 457 pounds. Like this.